We're back. It cleared everything out. Hi, YouTube. YouTube. What's this here? How much you asking? Yeah, how much you asking? We're back to the book house because... Oh. A lot of the book... Wow, they cleaned this whole room out. A lot of the books came out of here, but I told them at the time we were kind of interested in these shelves, so we're back to look at them, measure them. Yeah, these are the same as down the one downstairs. <laughs> this is not no. We're just here to look at the shelves. <laughs> a little preview. You know? Little preview. These look to be about the same. Yeah. How heavy are they? Can you pick that up? Oh, careful! You're moving that one. Oh, they're attached. They're actually pretty light, though. They're not that heavy. Yeah. This mm. one's they said it'd be $10 each if we wanted them. Steve and Luanna agreed with me. Get them up off the floor, you know? We're thinking about this for the books. And what? just for further eBay organization, you know? Okay, we've decided we're going to get them. 40 not bucks. Today. Not today. We'll come back tomorrow. Yeah. They're nice. That's it, man. That's it, man. So tomorrow we're gonna come back and get five shelves. Mm -hmm. I thought there were only four, but there's five. Yeah, give me those rest of those books. And yeah, them. they let us peek at the rest of the hey, books. And the... Hey. <laughs> All right. Monologue was interrupted by the homeowner. That's right. Ah, we kept dropping hints about how we wanted those Gosh, books, but nobody know. wants to let us have. There you go. You know. Here. They want to do those in the sale. Well, they probably think that those are worth whatever. Yeah. yeah. And so they want to get some money for them. I was really tempted to ask Lou Lana, like, how much, how much are you going to ask on those books? Yeah, I know. She's probably, if I was to they ask. They may not know yet. If I was to ask right now, she probably would be, like, I don't know, 10 a book or something like that. Even for that price, we'd probably get them. Yeah. You know, if we bought a bunch, they'd probably give us a little deal, too. Yeah. Anyway. I wasn't going to vlog today, but since we ended up over at this house, I'm like, let's do it. Yay! And now we are going to the post office. We've got like seven or eight things to drop off. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to the store. That's right. Let's go. Here we go to see our favorite ladies. Hey, girl, the... huh? What's that other girl's name? Martha? The other one that we see every time. We don't know her name. Oh. <laughs> Let's know what she looks like. Chen Yoon. It's back. There it is. The stage show with the biggest marketing campaign in the entire world. The entire world. The receipts. Got the receipt. Coming out of there, they had these giant bags of packing peanuts like we got to ship that sand sweep. You guys know what we're talking about. Yeah, huge. And we paid like $35 to Office Max. They got them there for $4.99. Five oh, buck a room. Really cheap. Wow, Office, we were fucking up. Office Max really, you know, they, they screw you over. We bought some labels because I ran, we ran out of labels. Oh the other no, day. we ran out of labels yesterday. And they paid, I paid thirty five dollars for one roll. One roll. Two hundred. And I bought one on Amazon for like two thousand for like $15. sixty bucks. Sixty. Yeah. Ridiculous. No wonder they're going out of business. It's time to be bad. This place just opened. Like Friday, actually. Here we come. I was distracted by the cookies and I didn't film us uh, putting our box together. My name is Visa Cardholder. Visa Cardholder. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Ooh. Well, that was quick. It was quick. You know, I noticed on the thing that it said that these are 110 calories a piece. That's a straight lie. <laughs> that is a complete I lie. Don't think so. 110? I don't think so. No. no. I don't think so. All right, well, we have to eat them right now. You know how it is. That looks like a star crunch. I know, that's why. Look I... at this one. Yum. I want a bitey of it. <laughs> try it. Okay. You try it first. It even sounds like a star crunch. It's good, guys. This isn't it's gluten really, free. really good. Wow. 110 calories. Right in one bite. It probably says in really small text per bite on there. That is really good. 
That's stupid then. Yeah. They need to chill out. <laughs> get it because it's chilled. I get it, honey. I totally get it. This one's mine. I need to close this box. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, you don't want like, COVID to get on there or anything. 110 calories. Look at how chunky this boy is. I'm going to need a bite of that. You'll get one. Mmm. That's really good, guys. Uh-oh. Dangerous. Remember when we used to give up processed sugar? Mmm. -hmm. That's really good. Wow. I'm going to need a nap soon. Here we go into Safeway. This way. Going to the store when I'm hungry. Not a good idea. Um. Then what are those? The manufactured food shortage crisis, you know? World's best. A lot of uh, tough tortilla decisions being made here. <laughs> Uh huh. You know, you're not gonna be eating them, so oh. I can I can have all the choice in the world. I might if you get gluten free ones. I can't find any gluten free ones. Oh, sorry. The corn ones no are. Way. Hey, it's not my fault they put them right here. We got a lot of good stuff. All I'm doing is shopping for Graham. Chris is shopping for himself, so I guess I'm not gonna have any food. Hmm. Well, you get something for yourself. Don't blame others. <laughs> but I want to. It's easier. Well, we got a cart full of junk, so don't tell me we don't have any food at home. You know? Okay. Uh, okay. Also, I've been walking around, and I don't know why. I feel like I'm, like, lightheaded. She's in days, guys. She had to yeah, get some water. I had to, yeah, I had to get some water and start drinking it right here. I don't know what's wrong with me. No, poor baby. I need to go home and sit. I can't wait to kick your ass. Why? Because. Why? You're stressing out the, me and the deli guy. Oh, my God. I'm the customer. I'm right. Oh yeah, I guess you're uh, always right. Every time, for some reason, every time that I said, "Yeah, could I get like a pound of this?" She had to give me this weird look. I don't know what that's about. She's just giving him a lot of commentary. That's all. Let's go I'm right trying here. to be friendly. Well, he thought you were gonna get like four pounds. Hi YouTube. Good morning YouTube. This turned into a two-day vlog because I didn't finish it yesterday. I mean, that's the reason. That's correct. I'm having my caffeine. Beaker full of caffeine here. Isn't this cup so cute? This was a thrifted cup before I started flipping. Yeah. Anyway, um, so we uh, are, uh, yeah. there's still a lot of books here. Yep, they haven't moved. <laughs> and we're going to get those shelves today that I showed you earlier. And uh, we're going to try to fit them in here. I have a plan in my mind, and they don't always work out. But, you know... Sometimes they do. Don't you wish we were the same height sometimes? Look at this. And my face is up here. Hello. He's six feet and I'm 4'10". Well, what if I was like this tall, you know? What if I was like this tall? What if? Yeah, what if? Then I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Anyway, let's go see Lulana. Okay. So Ash wanted me to show... Her cool outfit and it is pretty cool it's all thrift store um she has nice shorts oh she's doing a little dance for us you never seen anybody look this cool and retro i, I haven't i haven't wait a minute uh oh complete with a watch too it's all retro uh, oh yeah my retro watch <sighs> okay so these are from goodwill uh -huh. these are from the discovery shop which is another thrift store this is from Goodwill. Mm -hmm. And these are from Goodwill. Oh, very nice. Thank you. What's going on here? Okay, so we're uh, here. <laughs> we're getting the shelves. Um, getting the shelves. There's still three more over there. And I have a little preview of what's to come. Oh. More books. Yeah, so Luliana pulled me aside and she's like, you guys wanted those books in the front room, right? I'm like, uh, yeah. Yeah. She's like, why don't you just... Let's just do it now, like a hundred bucks. I'm like, fuck it, yeah. What we need is more books in the garage. What we need is more books. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. What was that? I said, I can't believe you didn't consult with me before buying these books. I'm angry. Yeah, I just made the decision. I was like, yeah, okay, we'll take them. Thanks. Hundred dollars for a hundred books. 
that's a big steep markup from uh, <laughs> the, three cents. The, the three cents went to a dollar per but you know what those are some of the best ones because they're all boxed almost by the way this is how we're transporting the uh, shelves we can't close the truck so but look at how light they are actually look at how strong you are nice work thank you honey right, this is 3, pounds. yeah this is one of five Woohoo! So I gotta give you guys another update. So we're in the process of getting the last set of shelves. Here's all the shelves, they need to be clean. And Chris is gonna get the last one. We ended up, did I say this already? Oh yeah, we bought all those books, right? The rest of the books for a hundred bucks. And then some random guy was there and he comes up to me and he's like, are you the two that bought the books? I need to talk to you. And, and I'm like, like uh... uh, yeah, what? And he's the guy who bought the house for eight hundred thousand dollars by the way it's on the lake yeah and anyway um he goes well, i want i want some of those books and i'm like oh great here we yeah. go but then he came over and he just wanted the little encyclopedia like britannica set yeah they were which cheap. aren't that much i'm like please don't tell me you want the boxed books yeah. i don't want to deal with the box like trying to anyway he ended up buying like maybe like 30 books 30 books yeah. from us and he first he just wanted 20 and I'm like okay just give me 20 bucks just give me what we paid and he was like oh no yeah. I'm gonna give you at least 40 yeah. and then he ended up he wanted like 10 more and he gave us 15 so we ended up making 55 dollars off the guy back. so we spent 150 on the <laughs> shelves and the books but then we got 55 back so we actually spent 95 dollars on everything that's pretty awesome it is Look at this little guy right here. He's like, oh no, what are you guys doing? Oh no. All right, we're home. I didn't really do any filming there, but we went to the Cairo again and I got adjusted this time. And you know what? I feel great. I uh, don't really have too many problems, but I do have some lower back pain and it really helped. Right? Yeah. What are you talking about? The Cairo. Oh yeah, I was just about to ask. How are you feeling right now? It feels good. Yeah. My Maybe. lower left back is always tight, and right now it feels like loose. Yeah. Maybe it was too. fun. And now we're having lunch. Yes. I feel like we haven't gone over food in a while, so here it is. Food. I made that's right. I made rice with homemade bone broth, grass-fed ground beef, sour cream that I mix up with salt, garlic powder, and a uh, dill. Mm -hmm. And then air fried broccolinis with onions and avocado. Well, oh, Chris yeah. has pretty much the same thing with pretty the addition much. of salsa and a little bit of bitchin. This is a chipotle lime aioli. Oh, yum. Let's eat. Yeah. Oops. I feel like we're due for a book update. This looks like hell right here, but honestly, it's getting a lot better. Look at the shelves. They look awesome. So we got one there, and then sets of two back to back, and then we're sorting by author, so that we can just chunk out the authors. Yeah, and these are just misc authors. There might be some sets in here, but they're not enough for us to make a whole author spot. Yeah, the miscellaneous. And gosh, there's still a lot of books. <laughs> but it's still going to be nice. It will. And there's still a lot more space. Some level of organization is better than no levels. That's right. So let's keep going. David Baldacci. All right, we got our gym back. Look at all this space. Look at the shelves. Don't look at that, look at the shelves. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's still a sizable stack of books and some over there right. and some right here. Right. And the death pile. This is all right here is all death pile. And you see these shelves? Those is all death pile and then that is all death pile as well. It's organized it's chaos. Organized. That's what's important, okay? We're Look at this. Mm -hmm. in the right direction. Take you guys on a little tour. If anybody wants to stop by, by the way, $5 a book, okay, if you want to pick it up in person. But look, we sorted by authors. Michael Connolly, Steve Barry, we got Steve Martini here, John Sandiford, he needs to chill out and take a break from writing novels. So does Webb Griffin. But look, it's like, mm -hmm, yay. Nice little aisle. Ah. ah, space. And then you come around. Ah, and here's all the boxed books are here. Most of which are listed. Thank you, Chris. Somewhere down in here, they stop being listed. And then the rest over here need to be listed. More author lots. Just all split by author. So our plan, I also cleaned out the boxes. To, oh, 
Hello. <laughs> I also cleaned out the boxes today and just put our nice ones up. Oh my God, look at it, guys. Yeah, it, so it looks good. nice and profesh. And then the shipping workstation over here is nice. And I hung that thing up that we picked up. I like that. It looks I, good too. Thank you. I think it's nice. Anyway, so our plan now, and then the stuff on the end is like miscellaneous small sets and other sets. So our plan is to now go through and by author, just list them in a lot and sell off the big lots. But first we're going to tackle these time life lots that are over here. Ah, I can get through here too. Navigation. Yeah, sell these off in big sets. Yeah, don't look at the printer either. Yeah, don't worry about that printer. <laughs> But, um, yeah, much more manageable. We can get around. It's not total chaos in here. And I'm really sore and tired. And after two days of vlogging... <sighs> my back is so sore, and it's going to be really sore tomorrow. And we're going to this estate sale we got the books at tomorrow. That's right. But anyway, I'm signing off because I'm exhausted. We will see you guys in the morning. Bye, guys. Good night.